deprivation can destroy our sense of self, lose enough sleep, and as John discovered, we can disintegrate. So what is happening to our bodies when we don't get enough sleep? Fourteen super fit members of the British public are part of a television challenge show. They've chosen to undertake the ultimate endurance exercise. For the next 52 hours, they'll be going without sleep. Supervised by the British Army, they'll endure a grueling regime of physical and mental tests. We'll see the dramatic effects sleep deprivation has on their minds and bodies. Fourteen hours into the exercise, the sweltering heat is becoming unbearable. Carrying 30 kilogram packs, the volunteers have been marching through the jungle with no idea where they're going. Sun's just, to go, just about to go down behind the hill, so we've probably got, what, an hour of daylight left. So, are we going to walk all night? I don't know. So we'll see. As the light begins to fade, the volunteers are told to bed down on the jungle floor. But they're not allowed to sleep. If they do, they're out of the challenge. Normally, as the body shuts down for the night, body temperature and blood pressure drop. The sleep centers of the brain release a cascade of chemical signals that tell the body to go to sleep. Now it's a battle for the conscious mind to stay awake. In extreme situations when you are battling against sleepiness, part of the brain is literally trying to make you go to sleep. Uh, and your conscience, shall we say, the higher centers of your brain, are struggling to keep you awake. So there's a battle going on. The volunteers don't even know they're losing the battle. Alarmingly, you can fall asleep for two minutes without even knowing it. Today, one in four people is sleep deprived. We average just seven hours a night, two hours less than a century ago, and an hour less than a decade ago. Lack of sleep erodes the higher functions of the brain, the ability to communicate, solve problems, and remember. These are vital functions that make us human. So something very special must be going on during our hours of slumber. At Harvard University, Dr. Matt Walker is trying to find out what that is. By placing electrodes on the head, he can measure the activity of the sleeping brain. Looks good. On an average night, we go through three main stages of sleep. First, it's shallow sleep, which lasts for 30 minutes. Then you enter deep sleep. During deep sleep, brain activity slows right down. And this is when it is thought that daily cellular damage in the brain can be repaired. Then suddenly, the brain is bombarded with stimuli. This is REM sleep. And it's during this period that we are thought to file away memories, replay and learn physical skills, and solve the problems of the day. While your brain is active, your body is paralyzed to stop you from acting out your dreams. REM sleep can last from 5 to 30 minutes. You then switch back to shallow sleep, and the whole cycle begins again. So sleep not only mends the brain, it allows us to learn new skills, solve problems, and remember. It's not just that your memory systems will start to suffer as a consequence of sleep deprivation, but the more basic problem-solving capabilities which seem to be controlled by the frontal regions of the brain. Go without sleep, and we start to make mistakes. 